So I wondered if there are any stories or anecdotes you might have that perhaps capture your father, his father's character or his dedication to his work that you'd love, maybe like to share? Well, one in particular, and it's about patience. Um, he told me the story that he had done this beautiful painted glass. I don't, I don't know, I guess it was a forest scenery or a jungle scenery. And he had spent weeks doing it. And he had put it down beside his work desk. I don't know whereabouts. I don't know if it was in LA or in this country or, or what. And he was doing something on his desk. And I think he lost his temper at something. And he put down the hammer too hard. And bounced off the table straight into that piece of glass that he had done and he was absolutely bereft about it because he had spent so long doing this. So he always said to me, if you feel like you're going to lose it at the table and, and you, you can't get something, get up and walk away and come back 10 minutes later, do something totally different, come back, take a breath. And, and, and do it because he said that was the biggest mistake he ever did and that taught him patience that. So that's, that's one of the antidotes that. And also, well, you know, sometimes at breakfast he would, he used to read the Telegraph and uh, mum was at one end of the table and he was in and I'd be sitting in the middle and he'd read something in the paper and he'd go, Dan, and he'd do this and I'd go, oh my God. And mum would look up from her crossword and go, darling, do you feel better doing that? She said, he said, yes, and it was like a mighty, if you look in Mighty Joe Young or Kong, when he does that, he does, he, the, he, he does that same action as a gorilla. <laughs> so yes, to answer your question a long way, um, yeah, he, he, he took on the persona of these creatures when he got frustrated. <laughs> it's fascinating. I'm sure you've, you've heard Ray talking to aspiring uh, model makers, but do you know what kind of advice he generally offered to to people in the starting out in the industry? Um, well, for him, he, he had to just keep going back and studying and persisting. And it's a hard, we all know it's a hard um, line of work to go in doing, whether you're a sculptor, a filmmaker, or an artist, or whatever, or a camera guy. You know, you have to get that patience, you have to have that want. So he's always, he was always trying to encourage the, the young kids and older people to try and follow that dream and don't give up. You know, if you don't first succeed, it's the old saying, try, try again, you know? Um, and I think that's what daddy did. And he was always encouraging when, you know, when we're at the conventions, young kids would come up and show them, you know, the parents might be a bit embarrassed because it wasn't a particularly good picture. But you know, dad took it like it was a major piece of art. That's, that's the start, you've got to start somewhere. So don't give up, go back and make it better. You know, carry on. So that was sort of his inspiration to um, encourage people, don't give up and, you know, keep going. That's great. <laughs>